This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? Today we're gonna test 1,000 kilometer challenge with Smart Hashtag 3. This is like the Hashtag 1's big brother, but it's not really that much bigger. It's a little bit longer, a little bit wider, but then lower. So actually in terms of banana boxes, they are exactly the same. But then because of this shape, it should be more efficient than a Hashtag 1, right? So the Hashtag 1 did it in 11 hours and 20 minutes. Can we beat that time? Ooh, I'm not sure. What we're gonna see, it's gonna be wet tonight. So yeah, I have not prepared the car as usual. We are uh, heating up the uh, cabin and also topping up to 100%. So um, this is also the Brabus, do you see? Yeah, that, wait, does it have the Brabus here? Okay, but look, oh yeah, look at, look at that, huh? Huh, do you like this? Do you like this? So yeah. You see, we, uh, this time we actually have car scanner up and running, but it shows slightly incorrect uh, state of charge. You see it's 99% and then it claims 96 or whatever voltage seems to be correct. And then this also seems to be correct. So at least we have some numbers. You see that the battery supposedly is at around 13 degrees Celsius. There's not much other variables, variables we can get in there, but okay. So, you know, nowadays I do the, I don't know what to call it, the, the standby uh, uh, route. I don't go too far off home in case Labor Day is there, in case the water breaks. But uh, instead of going the north route a lot back and forth, which can be a bit repetitive. Um, well, charging ended. Okay, okay. But we're gonna take one loop down here first and then go up. So it shouldn't matter. I mean, time-wise, it's uh, we are roughly the same distance anyway. So. Yeah, anyway, let's do the final preparation and then we'll start probably around 22.15, right? Yeah, because I'm not ready yet. All right, we are off. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a wet uh, route today, but uh, hopefully that doesn't affect uh, the challenge too much. Okay, this is still a Brabus. Let's enjoy the fake engine sound. Oh yeah, wait, but you know, with the hashtag three, we have more sounds. So that was a smart original. Then we have classical. And then we have interstellar. Wait, let's try that. What the heck is that shit? Huh? And then explore. No, wait, yeah, explore is the last. Oh, no, 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 what the heck? What are you trying to be, huh? Some kind of spaceship? No, 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 let's go back to Smart Original. Oh yeah, wait, wait, oh, classical. I can't decide whether I like Smart Original or Classical better. We are now at Venus soon, and this is gonna be the turnaround point. And then from here, we go north again. So you see, the distance here is 146 kilometer. That is uh, pretty much spot on with what it should be. So this car seems to uh, measure the distance correctly. But okay, I enabled the preheating. It, it's called temperature adjustment before charging. It's weird, man. Loss in translation. So it should heat up the battery now before we fast charge. So yeah. So from here, we just turn around. And obviously we need, don't need to charge yet. So now we just head north again. We are now at the V3 supercharger. And over here we can get 250 kilowatt hour per hour but we are taking only 59 kilowatt why because we went too deep this is the same case as the hashtag one which is that if you go too deep then it charges slow but then soon enough we should go faster and actually if you go even deeper it will only take around 30 kilowatt but usually i think past 10 percent it goes faster we're supposed to, yeah there, there we go we're supposed to get 150 kilowatt so, well, all good. We probably didn't lose that much time, maybe just 30 seconds or something, right? All right, but yeah, no much needed stop. Let me see. Oh yeah, yeah also you can see here. So car scan also shows some stats this time. And you see that the battery heats up to 27 to 29 degrees Celsius. And then I got the notification on the screen about half an hour ago that the uh, battery was at optimal temperature. But at least the smart hashtag 3 has a charge port on the left side with the right side, on the right side with the wrong side. This is perfect. So you can see, you see, I can stay, I can just blend in with the Teslas. Uh, over here though, it's not my favorite spot because I tend to drive at night and then at night, the shopping mall here is closed. And then, uh, well, but we have a 7-Eleven, a gas station over there. So I just have to walk over there. 
man the interior light here is quite dim so you have to fire up everything plus the makeup light which has a different um seems to have a different color temperature than the cabin light yeah here also but okay so i'm gonna eat a little bit but you see we're already at 48 percent. i think this took only around 10 15 minutes but i want to go for circle k in Landsporten, and i'll show you now uh how it works it's quite snappy this uh navigation and if you click uh, if i just zoom in here in Landsporten, it should be here you know last time i tested it would bug if you click on any charger not on the tesla supercharger if i click on for example mere charger will the navigation freeze it doesn't freeze wait Gee, okay the bug is still there <laughs> oh shit okay if you want to restart i should restart now when we are stationary so we don't mess up the trip meter here well i think I, i'm supposed to press and hold this button wait, wait, wait let me check something let me check something trip can we see trip here trip okay last chart okay that's fine last trip 217 kilometers or this uh, 217 okay 217 it shouldn't mess up that right and then press and hold for 10 seconds man why does it feel there, there, there. intelligent cockpit and something okay and then whoop, it goes black and then it should have the brabus uh there, there, there. Yeah, the, the, the animation, and now we restart, and then hopefully we don't uh, mess up the trip meter. Let me just check here. Total, okay, last charge, okay, last trip. Oh, oh, okay, trip is there, but la last trip was messed up. Okay, whatever. All right, we're back on the road again. So we charge for 24 minutes, and we gain 41 kilowatt hour from the charger at least. So, yeah, we charge with 70%. I'm not sure if that was the best idea. Maybe from now on I should try to charge to only run 55%. That's where it charges the fastest. Okay, but anyway, hammer time. Oh, man. I, I feel like somehow, you know, on spec, this hashtag 3 is supposed to be faster than hashtag 1, even though they have the same horsepower numbers. And the hashtag 3 supposedly also has lower torque figures i'm not sure what they did maybe maybe the maybe the hashtag 3 has flatter power curve yeah that could be one explanation yeah it feels like it's just endless or i mean bottomless power surge oh, oh this is so addictive oh, at least the brabus lives to its name we are now at the supercharger. I chose to come here because it's cheapest. But yeah, let's see now. Yeah, this is also weird because on this screen, we only see volts and amps. <laughs> if you want to see kilowatt, you have to look on this screen. But oh she, we're getting only 18 kilowatt. Uh oh. Uh, okay, but fortunately, it doesn't last too long. Well, except, except for that now we charge slow but we have to wait until we hit around 10 percent i think before we get some decent speed uh oh yeah um this is i'm doing this so you guys will learn from me so if uh, speed matters then don't go too deep with the smart cars okay fortunately after about a minute of charging once we hit five percent then we at least get 58 kilowatt <laughs> <laughs> okay but let me see i'm gonna test something here someone mentioned in live stream that if you if you pull down here while you're stationary you can use the entertainment mode entertainment mode is temporary oh what the heck man no dude i hate these systems where there is a long ass message D did you guys read it what what was it no keep that message on at least long <clears throat> longer uh or have an okay button or something right Okay, so you suppose you need more than 20% before you can use entertainment mode. Yeah, but suppose, okay, I, I can wait. I want to check out entertainment mode. Once you have entertainment mode, you can, it's like keep climate on, I think. I have to test it. Yeah, so maybe I was wrong about, uh, yeah, you have no uh, keep climate mode in here. So what is, what's up with the cheetah, by the way? Wait, are they using Unreal Engine? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, with the hashtag one, it was, there was a fox, but here there is a cheetah yeah okay and then hopefully uh we will get 100 kilowatts soon i think that happens at around 10 percent well, let's see let's check out now entertainment mode okay 
at the same time, I cannot read the thing before. No, it's a, what the heck is this? Uh huh. Ah. Okay. Yeah. All the money they start when parking. Huh? Oh, wait, wait. oh okay. Here we have eco mode. We have energize mode. We have rest mode. Pet mode. Oh, valet mode. But they have as a pet mode. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So it will keep the heater on. Ah, that's very nice. Half an hour. Wait. Do we do we need to press? Okay, I, I'm not sure why this is grayed out. If I disable it, oh, okay, yeah, I understand now. You, you, whoa, the lag, man! Holy crap! You click it, and then yeah, okay, you can actually set it to how long. What is the maximum here? Uh, wait, what happened to nine? You have seven and eight, and then. Uh, maybe nine is uh, is an is an unlucky number in uh, in China. <laughs> okay, okay, whatever. Start. No, wait. The freaking lag. Come on. Start. Start. Huh? You can't. Holy crap! This thing is buggy. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Okay, this is a bit weird because I charged to only 58%. You see, now we are down to 56 Because the, the charging curve here is... I mean, it's quite fast to around 40-45%. And then it dips below 100 kilowatt, and then 85 kilowatt, and then 70 kilowatt. So, I feel like I'm losing time if I go for 70%. So that's why we're trying to go for around 55% only. And then we will only drive around... 90 kilometer sprints between the charging stops. Yeah, it's crazy, but uh, this is what we have to do possibly to get the best time. So yeah, we'll see. I will go to the turnaround point, which is my own rule at the uh, Rutsogda, and then we turn back again, and then we stop at the same charger. All right, we are now getting close to um, Hamar again. On the return, I can show you guys here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that we turn around there, and then we're going to head back. I have to do a little, um, I'm not sure what to call this, but there was a police car in front of me and I was gaining on it. So, uh, yeah, we just have to, I, I still want to, you know, I, I could drive slower, but I want to keep my uh, speed plus VAT. So that's why we're going to take a little uh, slow uh, pause here and then we deduct it. <laughs> I don't know what the heck we should call this, but okay, okay. Because um, remember that barely legal is my middle name. Okay, we wait ahead three minutes. I think we're good to go now. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh, shit, man. This car is like a video game. Oh, yeah, we are now at Inlandsporten again, and uh, this time we're already 10%, but let me show you guys here. Look at this! <laughs> 317 watt hour per kilometer. I was expecting 310. So this was spot on. I expected us to arrive at 11%, so yeah, like a ninja. Wait, are we, huh? Wait, wait, huh? What? What? Even now we're getting only 60 kilowatts. Uh, I think it usually takes about a minute to ramp it up to um, 150 kilowatts. Okay, anyway, your yeah, next stop is possibly, wait, let me see. Uh, yeah, we could charge at uh, cleavage, but that is only, see, wait, huh? why don't I see distance here? What What the heck happened to the navigation? Okay, let me just, uh, this is so weird, man. This uh, cleavage, okay, here, here. Yeah, 62 kilometers away. Yeah, so uh, I have to go to cleavage and then turn around and then probably end up somewhere around here. And then now, from now on, yeah, so the rule is, my own rule I want to repeat is that we're gonna drive, I mean, first, yeah, we have to take this south loop. This is something new I came up with. And then we, from now on, we only drive between Rudshögda and Klivert. Because then if the water breaks, which is over there at Yes Home, then I can quickly abort mission and then go home and then pick a wife and then Labor Day. Oh yeah. I'm 
enjoying the beat sound system. Just cruising along. Wait. Oh, Thursday is the car. Oh, holy macaroni! <laughs> okay. Whatever. We are now at Ayonti Dal. I have tried several chargers. I spent almost 10 minutes here and every time I try it fails. So I'm starting to believe that maybe the smart has some problems with some of the Ionity chargers. Well, these just happen to be the tritium chargers. I don't know what's up, but um, okay, I'm just gonna give up and go to the supercharger instead then. But I have to deduct for this. I did not know that there would be trouble with Ionity. Okay, so fortunately I had enough juice to uh, go to Nebanes here, eight kilometers further down the road. But uh, the result is that instead of arriving with 10% like I did, I now have 4%, so which means that I'll get the sucky speed. If I knew about this problem with, uh, I, I believe it's not an ionity problem, it's some of the tritium chargers probably. I would have charged a little bit more so I would avoid this uh, slow speed I'll be getting soon. So yeah, I, I spent 10 minutes at ionity. I might deduct slightly more than 10 minutes. We'll see. Um, okay it should work here at the supercharger at least we're now at the supercharger and you know actually i realized that we have been charging only at supercharger in this challenge <laughs> but you see this is the problem yeah it was not supposed to be like this only getting 17 kilowatts so um i just have to correct for this so instead of deducting 10 minutes i might deduct 12 minutes or yeah well, i'll find out something but um yeah, so at least now we will have a little break. Oh, finally. And then over there. Let me open the door. We have Shem. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I went for some bread. But uh, you know, one thing I noticed is that every time I get back to the car, the music does not start automatically. This is big thumbs up. Despite the software bugs. <laughs> yeah, like the screen freezes. But um, yeah. That is very nice that it remembers the previous state which is that I pause the music then remember it then until I play the music again but I can show now if we go back to the uh, charging screen you see oh look at this at 34% we are still taking almost 140 kilowatts so it charges quite fast at the bottom and then we just have to bail out I mean unplug around 55% and that should yield the best uh, 1000 kilometer time right Oh shit, uh, on the previous stop I forgot to reset the infotainment because I, <laughs> well, you see, on the previous stop, first I wanted to go to Ionity and I saw Circle K and I thought, okay, well that's Circle K gas station, no, that's Circle K charger, so if you click on any chargers, it will bug uh, the navigation, now the navigation is frozen, I can play music, that works fine, you see, and I can probably do some other stuff. Yeah, that's fine. But uh, yeah, navigation is just uh, kaput right now. We are now at Brumendal Supercharger. I arrived with 12% uh, this time. And you see that every time, I mean, regardless of how many percent you arrive with, there is always a little bit of slow ramp up. But of course, only 78 kilowatt, not 18 kilowatt. So um, yeah. All right, so I'm not sure what else to do now. Uh, over here, it is a bit... Uh, yeah, I can show you. There's nothing to do here. This is uh, Mjöst Tornet, but you can barely see it. There's some foggy... This is interesting uh, atmosphere over here, you see? Yeah, and here we have... Then now you can finally see the smart hashtag 3 with some light around it. So I like it a lot because it's... Uh, it's not as boxy and tall, it's more like a sedan thingy, whatever I should call it. Yeah, the only minus that I don't like is that the region works just like the, um, uh, the Seeker 001. So I can explain roughly what, what it is. Uh, is that um, when you, you know, the region, the way it works is that when you let off the pedal, the region doesn't come that quickly it comes gradually so unlike many like pretty much most other cars when you lift up the pedal you will get the region not instantly there's a slight delay but at least 
it comes quite quickly and then it's easier for you to control how much region you want right but here it comes so here is like you lift off the pedal and then you get some region but then after maybe one extra second you get even more region so yeah it's not my uh, it's kind of hard to explain maybe or you you might not understand until you have driven a lot of evs and then you realize how it works here versus most other evs and then you'll be like okay I just, still works but it just actually it makes smooth riding slightly harder yeah that's i'm trying to drive as smooth as possible when i i'm with, with my wife and the baby or uh, the two-year-old baby i have <laughs> but that, okay anyway it's now 6 30 in the morning and it's getting bright outside and we're getting close to cleavage so yeah i wonder uh, there shouldn't be too much traffic that will affect us because it's uh, Sunday morning now, so Yeah, but we're gonna charge at cleavage and then maybe I should get some waffles Wait wait a minute. Is this the slow ramp up or is it the super? I Think it's a supercharge. We have to change stall. You're not supposed to go this slow Okay, I changed stall and then boom. Yeah, so I have to deduct uh, a couple of minutes, maybe two minutes because of this. This happens, I've seen it many, many times that the V3 supercharger stalls, for some reason, uh, some of them, they will give me only around 30 something kilowatt. So then all you have to do is just change stall and then suddenly you get uh, way faster charging. Okay, anyway, I think it's time to get over to the gas station. It's not there, that's uh, Burger King, but then beyond that place. Okay, we're back on the road again. You know, these charging stops are usually around 15 minutes only. So I went to the gas station. It was a several minute walk over there. Went to the restroom, bought the stuff, came back to the car and then we were good to go. So the car charger is relatively fast, at least to around 50%. But okay, anyway, I came there for the waffles. This is the cleavage waffle. Look, look, it's, it's still nice and Warm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. let me test it. Mmm. It is thick, juicy, substantial. Unlike the. Wait, is it? It's steamy. Oh, no, no. I think I, I put the recirculation on. Yeah, yeah. Recirculation was on because I was following some smelly fossil car. But it's sweet. It has a little. Uh, um, was well, going cardamom taste, but also unlike the um, the IKEA waffle, it tastes a bit dryish, like it tastes like paper. But here, it's just thick and juicy and soft. Look at this. I like it. You can slap some of it, this waffle. That's how good it is. Uh, we are now at the ring socket trying to charge and I'll show you it's a Delta charger This is what happens You see This is the third time I try and I think I need to leave this location and go to another place because Handshakes seem to fail also on Delta chargers with a smart We will see stay the charge briefly until it fails there and then, yeah, this happens every time. EV can voltage range, okay? It's not a tie can. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's wrong with these, but it seems like the Smart has some compatibility problems. Uh, when I did the hashtag one run, I did not visit any Delta chargers. So, um, okay, uh, fortunately on the other side there, we have Circle K, let's try those instead. But I also have to deduct some time I lost here. Okay, it seems to work now at least. Yeah, yeah, 58 kilowatt. Okay, that's normal. So we are now at Furness, uh, Soccer K Furness, you see. So on these 150 kilowatt uh, ABB chargers, it works. What? Oh, did it? Yeah, I think it works. Okay. Oh, whatever. Man, but we are getting close to uh, the end now. So we just have to charge. Let me see. Well, well, this time and then one more time, but they are fairly short, maybe just 10, 12 minutes and then we should be done. Yeah. Okay, let me see. The way we count now is that we take one, oh yeah, we take the current time plus one hour and 23 minutes. So we already passed the 10 hour mark and we have now done 913 kilometers. I measured that uh, this car measures uh, distance correctly. 
So um, yeah, we need to charge one more time at Nebenes and then we are done. We are now at Nebenes, the last charging stop and uh, uh, I had to deduct one minute. So let me explain. We were on the other side of Nebenes over there. Uh, okay, kind of hard to see, but according to the app, it's supposed to be 150 kilowatt. There's also recharge chem power. So the app claims 150 kilowatt. I was like, okay, fine. I can take 150 kilowatt, no problem. When I came there, the display showed that it was 120 kilowatt available. And I've seen this, it's like a yen going, you know, but you see that um, it's 200 kilowatt here. Recharge, is, from what I understand, when I talk to some people, is that when they dis when they uh, install the stuff over there, that on the other side came earlier than here. They went for 300. Uh, oh, how is this? I think around 300 amp cable underground. So even though the power modules are capable to dealing more, because the underground cable to the dispensers are only maximum 300 amp. They can only say 200, 120 kilowatt, not 150 kilowatt. But over here, supposedly, if it says 200 kilowatt, then we hopefully have 375 amp or 500 amp cables underground. So, yeah, that's why I deducted one minute because if I knew, if I was not misled, I would come here directly. And also, yeah, I could charge a Tesla supercharger. It's actually a lot cheaper. Over here, it's only around 3.5 nook per kilowatt hour. Over here, it's more like six nook per kilowatt hour. But yeah, how realistic is this? Because now I'm charging slightly fast. I might say one minute, <laughs> but I could have charged over there instead. Many people, they actually charge the non-Teslas on the supercharger. Yeah, especially because you have a shit ton of chargers here, you see? All of these are open for at least CCS uh, capable cars. And then there are not that many uh, chem power and recharge over here. Let me check here. Oh, no, sorry, the charger claims 161. 396 amp. Yeah, we get 150 kilowatt. So something goes, there's something lost here. Uh, do we have over 10 kilowatt of heating, cooling, or something? <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's do a countdown. 9991, 9992. 993 994 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 11 hours and 8 minutes so we are all right we run so we're 10 minutes faster than the hashtag one wait but the consumption was 297 the hashtag one the consumption was 295 how could that be okay let's get over to uh yes home first and i will uh, explain uh, my theory i will now summarize about this smart hashtag one how was it the seats were nice and comfortable they are not super sporty seats which is fine for me because i don't need to be like cramped like this you know i, I want to sit comfortably so we have comfortable seats and uh, okay the noise level i feel like could be better so it's roughly as noisy as a model s plaid and the suspension is a bit firm but not uncomfortably firm it's just that you feel like it's firm so for me it's per i mean good firmness for my wife, she was complaining several times that over bumps, she was like, you know, yeah. But uh, I mean, it's a bit obvious what you expect, right? But then why was this 10 minutes faster than the hashtag one? Even though the consumption was uh, higher, I suspect that it was because the hashtag one, I haven't, I have to rewatch the video, but I think on the hashtag one, I charged longer. Look, like, just like I did here in the first journey session, you know, I charged around 70% and past around 55 percent it goes quite slow around 70 80 kilowatt so but in the following session you saw that i only drove around 90 kilometers each time but i was ch pumping in 150 120 something kilowatt for a long time and each charging stop was stored it was like bam, 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 bam. yeah so this is it i think that's the trick that if you want to travel fastest you have to 
charge to only 55 60 percent like a tesla <laughs> but unlike tesla many teslas you just at 60 percent you have way more range than this car because battery is a bit small and it's a bit thirsty but okay we achieve the same thing which is to arrive faster so anyway i think that's gonna be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later